What's going on, America? Today's show is going to be dedicated to wannabe serial killers. Okay? Wannabe, 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 wannabe serial killers. Okay? So I'm up on the computer this morning, right? And I'm listening to CNN in the background as I always do. And I heard something that made me just want to respond as fast as possible. So I didn't really take time to put a lot together here. Now, they're talking about some famous rapper that has went off and killed a bunch of people. They call him a serial killer, okay? I turn around, because I'm like, what famous rapper do some shit like that? He has something to smoke on? I mean, what's the deal? Anyways, I'm looking to see what famous rapper it is, right? And the cops got this dude in handcuffs. And I'm looking, I'm like, who the hell is that? Famous rapper? They got this dude that looks like a, a overweight Opie Cunningham. I mean, he's in handcuffs and he's like, he's smiling a little big because he's just so proud of himself. The what first question jacket. that popped into my mind is, how the hell is this dude a famous rapper? So anyways, I decided to do some research. And I looked it up on on uh, MySpace and YouTube. You know MySpace. Every every punk ass has got a MySpace page. Okay. So I knew, I knew I'd find something on MySpace. This dude got a MySpace page. And he, he, he calls himself Psycho Sam. Ooh, Psycho Sam. S-Y-K-O-M-A-N. You know, this dude is not a famous rapper. I don't know where he's famous. What a jacket. Maybe in the trailer park. Something like that. I don't know. Not really big on trailer park hits. But you know, y'all do your thing. Keep it real, because I made a lot of money off y'all. Check it out. This dude's name, which he calls himself Psycho Sam. Ooh, Psycho Sam. Famous hardcore rapper. This dude's name is Richard McCroskey. Dick. Dick is in jail. How ironic. So anyways, I, I do my research, right? And come to find out, this dude is in California. Not going to diss California. Love California. Don't ever get it twisted. But this dude out here making y'all look bad. So y'all need to handle this shit. This is ridiculous. Psycho Sam is Richard McCroskey. Or Dick. Let me put this cigarette out. Because... Hold on a second. Hey, how you doing there? This here's Monster Joe from Monster Joe's Custom Bikes. If you're looking for a bike, you just ain't found one that just suits you just right, come on down to Monster Joe's Bike Shop and pick you out a custom hog today. Now let's ask somebody that's been around the business for a long time what they think about Monster Joe's. There you have it, come on down to Monster Joe's today. We've got every bike you can imagine and some that you ain't even thought about. So come on down to Monster Joe's custom bike shop and pick you out something special today. Let's say you just want a bike that's nothing but a tire. We got one of those too. We are conveniently located at the corner of Florida and Evansville Street, sorry that up. That's right, we're conveniently located at the corner of Florida and Main Street in the God-fearing city of Evansville, Indiana. Come on by and see us today and tell a Monster Joe sent you. You know, and they pulled him out in the cuffs and he's smiling like, you know, like a jackass, you know. What I mean, a jackass. Like a jackass. You know, I really want to know what everyone's reaction is to this, so take a minute, leave a comment below. Take a minute, rate the video, you know, subscribe, whatever. Um, but leave a comment because I really'd like to know what everybody's got to say about this. Okay, so let's read on. So basically it says uh, this dick was also known as Psycho Sam, a violent axe-welding alter ego whose lyrics were flush with tales of killing people and whose MySpace page bear bears the warning, I hate everything and I hate everyone. Psycho Sam. So, they, anyways, they caught him at the international airport in Virginia, and I guess they they had already found several bodies. 
Now, I'm gonna put a link. I want you guys to check this out and see how twisted this little son of a bitch was, okay? I'm gonna put a link to his YouTube page. I want you guys to go check it out, listen to his song. He got a song posted. And I think they've, I think the authorities have already locked off the page so you can't make any comments because I had like a whole half page typed out as I put on this dude's channel. You can try. Let me know, as a matter of fact, let me know if you have any success posting a comment to his channel because I got a few things I want to say. You're not supposed to go around and just kill random people for no reason. Dick, as we previously mentioned, is now... How should I say this? Has now changed his life forever. Because now, Mr. Hardcore, or Mr. Horrorcore, you now get to go live in a confined neighborhood full of the finest killers. I'm sure you'll make plenty of friends. Rapists. Dope fiends. And other variable I like to call influential forces inside the walls of prison. Don't drop the soap. You are now currently enrolled in Salad Tossing 101. Use a salad tosser now, man. <coughs> and you will get your master's degree, homeboy. The hardcore rapper today will guess what? Tomorrow, actually not even by tomorrow, they're gonna have you by tonight. So Mr. Hardcore, how about in six months, you send me an email and let me know how you doing? Because we're all concerned here on the outside. Probably didn't feel like he fit in in school, didn't have any groups to hang out with, nobody really accepted him. And guess what? One day, he ran into some jackass that said, you know what, dude? You're pretty cool. I accept you for who you are. By the way, here's all the bullshit I believe, and you should worship the devil. And you know what this little kid said? He's like, damn, this dude accepts me for who I am. And he believes in the devil, so I'm going to follow whatever he says. The same jackass is sitting at home watching TV thinking, man, I pulled the strings to make this happen. Well, you know what, jackass, your day will come. There's the link right there to this jackass's Psycho Sam's um, YouTube and MySpace page. Um, go check it out. Listen to it. You gotta hear it because to be honest with you, production wise, the kid had some talent if he's the one that produced it. And also the graphics and photographs, pretty good job on those. Now I'm just talking about from a production standpoint. The content is bullshit, okay? Don't, don't get it twisted. I, I'm not supporting this kid. I don't agree with this kid. I think this kid should be locked in a room with me for a couple hours. Give me, give me a hat. Give, you know what? I'll settle for 45 minutes. Just give me 45 minutes with the dude. 45 minutes, that's all I want. It's 45 minutes with the dude. If we can pass that sentence, judge, whoever has got this case, give him 45 minutes with me. That's it. Make sure you leave your comment. Let us know what you think about this jackass. And whatever you do, don't be a dick. And you know what? As always, thanks for watching Shark Talkers. Ooh, Psycho Sam. Ooh.